Good morning, Michelle Replogel, Coldwell Banker, coming to you from Studio M. It may not be morning where you are, but I wish you a good day. Um, I have a whole series I'm doing, it's your partner in real estate, and um, this is number two. And I wanted to help you prepare for getting your home to sell, to, to show. So um, we have a um, listing, a little pre-listing packet, and I've got some suggestions in there for you. It's just teeny tiny. You can download it and read some of it. Um, but one of the things that you want to be aware of is, first off, besides cleaning, finishing any projects, you know, getting rid of that uh, dead plant in the corner that you've been meaning to do for a long time, that, that's all that. So here we are. We're just about ready to go on the market. Um, one of the things is remove personal items from your bathroom. I know it's weird, but, you know, your toothpaste and your toothbrush is out on the counter. Clear all that off. Please make it as, you know, spacious as possible. Um, the other part is uh, bills, purses, any other um, personal business. Please put all that away. Um, and then number two is use your room for the rooms for their intended purposes. Try not to make closets into offices or offices in the closet. Um, it might imply there's not enough space in the room and also it confuses people. People get really um, kind of narrow on the proper use of a room. Mind you, this is just perception. How you use your home is personal and that's perfect for you. But what we're trying to do is give your house the most appeal for the buyer who comes through and make sure every buyer kind of has a clear idea of how to use the space. Number three, remove evidence of pets. Hey, um, we all love our dogs and cats and that's all great. But the thing is, we don't notice um, some of the impact they have on the house. And we want to make sure, again, that we make it as welcoming to the buyer to imagine themselves living there and enjoying the home. So um, if you're not sure if you have pet smell, have your pickiest friend come over, the one that can smell, you know, garlic from 10 blocks away. That's the person that you want to come in and go, hey, could you give my house a sniff test? Um, I'm going really fast here. Number four, don't have personal photographs on display. Huh. Here's the thing. People look into those um, photos. They're looking for people they know. They're, they're looking to see if, hey, do I know these people? The other thing is, hey, look at these people. They're just really curious. And number three of that photography or photo problem is they may go, well, this is their house, and I don't want to take their house away from them. They look happy here. Hmm. So keep that in mind. That's why we say no photos. Um... Number six, please open all the curtains as much as you can, especially during showings. Make sure that all the pictures and everything, and if you have a room that you like to keep really, you know, blocked off and everything like that, sure, one room's going to work, but the whole house, open it up. And um, number uh, six is going to be remove as much as you can from the closet. So for, for me, I have a small closet, so in my closet is only... Um, the current season, because I, I just can't have every season in there and winter is out. So it might be that you could just have the current season and box up what you don't need. So those are my uh, quick tips for getting your house ready for sale. I want to be your partner in real estate. Look me up, Michelle with Logo Colo Banker, and we have a little handout there that you can download as well. Thanks. Bye.